Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. So this is going to be a general reading for all Pisces placements. Even if it's just a house in your chart, you can still get a message if you were guided to this video. Take what resonates, disregard the rest, don't force anything to fit. If nothing makes sense, please feel free to check out any other video on the channel. They're all done in divine timing, meant for you to find them when you need them. Check out your weeklies as well as the oracle readings that we're doing separately. Thank you for your feedback. I think we're gonna keep them separate. Um, it works better for me as well, because uh, yeah, sometimes this just not linked to the tarot reading that we've just done at all, and it just throws me off a bit. Uh, so if we keep them separate, I think that's better for me as well. So I'm glad you enjoyed that format, and thank you for letting me know. All right, let's see what's going on at this time for Pisces placements. And thank you all for liking, for commenting, sharing my videos, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I love seeing our little community grow. And us just coming together. What's going on for Pisces placements at this time? Okay, I think we're ready. All right, so this is going to be the situation that's being highlighted for us so we can pinpoint it in our own lives. Okay, and these are the developments we can expect to see happening at this time with regards to this situation. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, victory energy, recognition, being in the spotlight somehow. Could also be short distance travel. Um, if it's with a goal, it will be victorious. If it's whatever your goal is, even if it's just to have fun, you're going to you're gonna get your goal, right? You're going to reach your goal. Okay, current situation, the Eight of Wands. Things moving very fast. The Six of Wands with the Eight of Wands can be some sort of delivery arriving to you today in a very uh, 3D <laughs> reality. That could be just literally a letter, a parcel, a delivery that's significant. For others, this is definitely some sort of um, swift movement happening at this time or communication the challenge we have the nine of pentacles it's not much of a challenge the nine of pentacles comes across as um you being very unbothered okay you're doing fine on your own you're not necessarily looking for anything maybe that's why this is a challenge because for some of you you're like i don't really know what to do with this um this message this offer this invitation i'm not sure I want to get involved because I'm doing fine on my own, right? And the foundation, the Ten of Swords. Um, for some of you, you're recovering from a difficult ending, and that's why you're not necessarily interested in anything else right now, which is fair enough. For others of you, I feel like this could be someone you've already had some sort of falling out with or a very difficult ending with the Ten of Swords. There was betrayal involved um, somehow. And if they are reaching out to you or sending you a gift or sending you a message, I could see why you're looking at it like, I don't know what to do with this. What do you want from me? I'm, I'm not interested in this. Okay. In the recent past, we have the Ten of Pentacles. There's definitely some sort of ending that has happened here, some sort of completion. If this is external to you and someone else has been recovering and the challenge was that they had to be independent, single, or uh, uh, stable financially, mentally, emotionally in order to approach you, that could be what's going on here, okay? Because it feels like someone's finally free to approach you and it's happening fast. Okay, it's starting with communication, but we'll see. Page of Swords on the mind. With the Page of Swords on the mind, there could be a lot of messages going back and forth. I feel like you are curious about this. Um, you want to understand more about it, or you want to get to know this person, or you want to know what their motives are. Um, but you're kind of holding back at the same time, which goes in line with this um, energy. Or this could be the other person, whoever it is that's recovering from something difficult. Um, they're very reserved cautious okay um it's not from a place of fear i don't want to get hurt because they've kind of settled within themselves it's from a place of i want to make sure this would be a good choice for me right so someone's interested in getting more information here so today what's going on two of cups all right two of pentacles 
Yeah, and the chariot. Again, fast moving energy, cancer energy. Could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Um, don't get stuck up on, on signs, especially in general readings. Not even in personal readings. I wouldn't recommend it, but especially in general readings, right? Sometimes, yes, it adds up. Other times, why do I say that? Because we don't know what's going on in someone's chart. And depending on the situation, the way I read things, because I don't uh, go by that, if I can say that, um, I would rather describe the person, for example, or describe the traits of a court card so you can identify that person in your life. And because of that, they're showing up to tell me about their traits. So it's not necessarily that if I see a cup card, it's a water sign because I don't read that way, right? I, that's, not how, how, that's not how I ask for my messages. I ask them to describe the person not give me just their star sign because I don't know where that is in their chart. They could be a water sign, but they could be a water sign moon. They could be a water sign rising. They could just have a lot of planets in the water signs, but not, you know, as their sun sign. And so you say it's a water sign and someone comes back and say, well, that's not a water sign. So that's why I say don't get, in my readings at least, don't get stuck on signs of zodiac signs, okay? <clears throat> but rather take the traits of the person, the description of the person, okay? Because we all have all the zodiac signs in our chart and at different times we show up differently so for example in in some readings i might show up as the queen of swords even though i'm a water sign because you know i embody the queen of swords energy right or the queen of pentacles and so on so just a little <laughs> a little lesson there okay as to why i say some things that i say in my readings okay but back to the reading there is definitely a rival uh literal travel for some of you uh, while you're traveling, you come across this, or I'm seeing this as someone traveling to you, or there's some sort of travel involved, um, to offer some sort of partnership. It's small. It would start off slow, which I don't think you're bothered about because that's what you want, okay? You're like, I want to take my time and get to know this thing or this person or this opportunity so that it doesn't turn into this because I'm not interested in that, okay? Um, so yeah, and then with the Two of Pentacles, you're considering it. You're going back and forth, you're doing your pros and cons, because again, you're saying, I'm okay on my own. I don't necessarily want to team up with anyone, collaborate with anyone, go out with anyone, whatever the case may be. However, I do want to learn more about this. I want to get more information about this before I make my decision, because it, it is something that you're interested in, okay? The interest is mutual. The, the curiosity is mutual. The uh, attention, affection, whatever this is, is mutual, okay? So you're recognizing that and you're saying, okay, it's worth exploring. All right, so let's get more on this for Pisces. So what is this about? Who is this this person or what is this opportunity? What is this going on? Let's, let's just get all the cards out here, clarify everything, everything. Okay, Eight of Wands in the situation. We have the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, doesn't have to be. Um, someone very direct. I also get an energy of determined. They're making it very clear what their intentions are, okay? They may come off as a, a little strong, which is why you're the Page of Swords. You're saying, hold, hold your horses. Let's talk about it first, right? Let's tell me more about it, right? Nine of Pentacles is the challenge. We have the Hermit, another nine. Definitely someone coming out of healing, isolation, working on themselves, working on something else, their stability, their independence, coming out of having learned some lessons here as the result of a very difficult and painful ending in their life with the Ten of Swords and the Foundation, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they're just, they're just rebuilding their life or rebuilding themselves, okay? And for others, this ending happened because of a one-sided situation. One person was doing the work for two or three or five, depending on what that is. And for others, um, there, were, uh, there was a third party involved that took away from that situation. That doesn't always mean cheating. It just means instead of someone being focused on the partnership and doing their part, um, they were giving to something else, okay? Job, family, friends, whatever. Ten of Pentacles in the recent past, the Page of Cups. Yeah, there was, here's that interest, the new interest, okay, that came on the scene. I feel like this is a situation where this person or this opportunity came along 
as you were dealing with a, a difficult situation, contemplating an ending, going through an ending, or healing from an ending. You recognize that there is interest there, you recognize that there's potential there, but this was the mess you were dealing with. Okay, so you withdrew from this, or whoever this is. Now, I feel like someone's more determined, more stable within themselves. So if someone tried to offer you something in the past and you declined, they might try again. And this time you'll consider it because you're ready for it this time. Or if this, some somehow it fell apart because someone wasn't ready, this time you're the one pursuing them. Okay, something along those lines. Oh my boys. I swear to God, they wait for the camera to be on. Page of Swords on the mind. Justice, yeah, someone has made up their mind. This is what they want. So I'm getting a party that's very determined here, stable within themselves. This is what I want. And the other party saying, well, you've had more time to think about it than I have, and I need more information. I'm interested. I'm curious. But let's just find a middle ground here, okay? And for those of you, this is saying, I need more time to make my decision. I need more information to make my decision. Just bear with me one second. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It wouldn't be a reading without the boys going mental. Okay. So in the outcome, two of cups, two of pentacles, a chariot. The knight of wands, the queen of cups, the five of swords. Someone is very determined. Okay, the knight of wands with the five of swords and the queen of cups is like... Definitely, again, an element of actual travel for some of you or um, like over the internet. So a lot of communication, a lot of messages, deliveries type thing. The Queen of Cups, they have their eye on you. The Five of Swords is an energy of I won't take no for an answer. Which is what you might have an issue with because you're saying hold your horses, you know. And if you're dealing with, like, you're in, in between worlds here where you're dealing, the past is reaching out to you after they've really, really did a number on you, and at the same time you're interested in something new, this could be that, right? You're focused moving forward, and the past is trying to come around, but it's just a nuisance at this point, okay? <clears throat> what else are Pisces? The Six of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Six of Cups. Here's that past energy. For some of you, and that travel energy, I don't know what's going on with the travel. Are you traveling anywhere today? You might bump into someone or someone's traveling to see you, I can tell you that much. After a time of silence, no communication, no contact, someone wants to make peace, reconcile, put differences aside, um, apologize or get back together, whatever the case may be. I don't think you're, I don't, how do they feel? How do they, how does Pisces, feel about this past situation queen of swords yeah you're not interested like at all this person hurt you they hurt you very badly whatever happened with the ten of swords and you're not having it so the five of swords could also be where you're telling this person stop bothering me move on with your life lose my number right six of swords four of swords adds up to the ten of swords this is your the past situation that hurt you Okay, what's, what about the new situation? What's that two of cups there? Five of cups, nine of cups, seven of cups. It's something that there was a previous rejection with this. There was a previous rejection with this, okay? Because someone wasn't ready or something wasn't ready, okay? Someone was recovering still or still in a situation they had to get themselves out of at the time you met them or you came across this opportunity or this situation. It wasn't ready, okay? And there was a rejection. You took it pretty badly with the Nine of Swords, okay? And you kind of started looking for other options. This could also be an element of, well, did I make it up? I thought they were interested, maybe they weren't. But I do feel like there's, again, the situation where someone wanted to do things the right way. They wanted to end something, wrap something up properly before even considering something else. I feel like they may have been confused about you as well. Like I, I can see there's something here, but I don't know what I want to do about it yet because all my energy is dealing with this. Okay, so that's how you'll know what that situation is. There was a previous rejection or you perceived it as a loss at a point in time. 
and that's why now they're determined and that's why now they're like they want to make up for lost time um in a way right okay so what's pisces advice when dealing with this situation what's pisces advice so with all these movement cards, the one piece of advice is just keep moving forward. There's nothing for you in the past. You already know that, so that's just your extra confirmation. So we have the Four of Cups and the Page of Wands. Definitely move forward towards the new. I, I, I see a second chance at something that couldn't quite get off the ground. It's not the person that hurt you, I can tell you that much. It's not that person. You're not interested in that person, nor should you be this other situation where there's been confusion there's been hesitation there's been i'm not quite sure what's going on one of you both of you was dealing with should i end this or should i not that took a while it, because they decided to end it in the end or it was ended for them um, and then they had to get, kind of get themselves together and now that they're more stable and settled within themselves okay nine of pentacles energy now they want to talk now they want to approach you because they can they can do something about this now right they have the resources they're ready for change okay eight of cups definitely someone walked away from something here judgment and the page of pentacles yeah someone's making a decision to take a chance on you pisces okay and to make you some sort of an offer this is just gesture it may not be the full-blown i want to date you i want to marry you or you know i want to or whatever but it's let's it's wanting to talk it's wanting to get to know one another you both want to take things slow which is great because you build a foundation that way right but there's a big decision being made here when it comes to someone else wanting to pursue this with you to see what it is and what it could be okay if it's to do with job or your money or your finances whatever the case may be it's the same thing someone they might have uh, told you no in the past or they might have told you this wasn't available to you or whatever the case may be. Something has changed where the situation is now ready for you to step into it if you wanted to. And so now that company or that person or whatever is reaching back out to you going, Pisces, do you still want this? We're all set. We're ready to go. All you have to say is yes. Let's talk about the details. Set everything in motion. And it could be the beginning of a beautiful collaboration. Okay. So Pisces interesting reading let me know what this says things are definitely moving with all these movement cards literally moving traveling involved deliveries a lot of messages back and forth or the energy has shifted where it was previously blocked slowed down kind of bottlenecked is that a phrase um but you know what i mean <laughs> like squeezed shut uh couldn't quite move um it's moving it's definitely moving okay so I'm gonna leave it there tell me what this is for you in the comments and I'll move on to our Oracle reading our tea leaf reading so stay tuned for that I'll see you there all right have a great day I'll talk to you tomorrow bye for now